Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa Morrison and in today's video I am going to be talking to you about the causes and symptoms of egg binding as well as why your bird may produce a soft egg or a shellless egg. So as always keep watching. Welcome back. Okay, so let's just jump into our very first question, which is what is egg binding and what causes it? But before we get into that, please, I just want to say something about egg binding and it's very important that people actually understand this and that egg binding is one of the most excruciating ways in which a hen can die. In actual fact, some vets have said that it is torturous for a bird to go through egg binding. So you can imagine how painful that is. And I think that if a lot more people actually understood how painful it was for the bird, that they would do a hell of a lot more to try and prevent it. But anyway, what is egg binding? So simply put, a bird, depending on the species, will pass an egg within 24 to 48 hours. And within that time, the bird should have passed the egg. If not, and the egg is not delivered in that particular time, it is classed as egg binding, where the egg has then got stuck inside the hen's oviduct and um, it is not delivered in the right time. So that is what it is. Uh, so now let's look at the causes of egg binding, what actually causes the egg binding, which will come up on your screen now. Um, it is caused by multiple things such as weakened by their body is weakened by chronic illness due to infection of the oviduct. The egg can be malformed or too large. Um, calcium deficiency and other, other deficiencies can cause it such as vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin D3, stress within the flock, um, too much, uh, sorry, too large a clutch. Um, as well as the muscles that actually bring the egg outside this body um, can be wasted away due to poor health and poor diet. And one egg may get stuck to a previous egg because that egg has not passed fast enough. So those are the causes of egg binding, some of the causes of egg binding. There are many others which I haven't mentioned today, but those are some of the main causes. So next, let's look at the symptoms of egg binding. Okay, now let's look at a few symptoms of egg binding. Um, so you may notice that your bird is sitting on the cage floor, rocking back and forth, sitting on tail feathers or with, their leg, with her legs spread apart, tail wagging or tail bopping, abdominal um, distension, sorry, I can never say that word, Straining, laboured breathing, lack of droppings, ruffled feathers, bluish to white limbs, and the hen making crying sounds. I'm sure she'd be making crying sounds, seeing that it is so bloody painful to be egg bound. But anyway, so those are some of the symptoms of egg binding. If the egg does not pass within 20 minutes, please see your vet immediately. Okay, before we carry on, on to our next question, I just wanted to talk a little bit about home treatments when a bird is egg bound. Just to let you know that home treatments very, very rarely work. So every single moment that that bird is egg bound is precious moments being lost while you are attempting home treatment. I can understand it if a person has absolutely no avian veterinarian around and home treatment is the only option that they have to possibly save that bird's life, then of course try the home treatment and by the grace of God it will work. But if you are able to get your bird to the veterinarian, then please do, do not waste your precious moments trying any type of home treatment. Okay, so our question number two is, what causes soft-shelled eggs and, or no-shelled eggs? 
So it usually is caused by dietary or environmental factors such as abnormal heat and humidity, parasites, toxins, stress, molting, nutritional deficiencies such as lack of vitamin E, vitamin B12, vitamin D, calcium, phosphorus, selenium. So what is laying a soft shelf egg? So laying soft shelf eggs means that the female is deficient in calcium and cannot lay a hard shelled egg, right? Or the egg may be moving too quickly through the uterus as seen in many uterine infections and sometimes with other internal infections. Okay, just to mention as well that after a bird has laid a soft shelled egg, they will look very weak and lethargic. Guys, that's all we have time for today. Please give this video a massive thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, remember to stick that little bell icon for more upcoming videos, and I will see you next week with more questions and advice on all topics of hero care and first aid. God bless and stay safe.